good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, again, five amazing Bitcoin charts, a trading tip that's very important, a travel tip that will help you while traveling. Yes, answering one of the questions of the followers, because it was a very important question, talking about the news, because there's some really cool news out there. Yes, guys, it's going to be a cool video again with a lot of tips and tricks. But let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly why we just dipped from above 70k to 67k again in 24 hours time. Let's see what happened. Bam. The first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart. Yes, we see here the sell signal. It was a huge dip. Uh, we are gonna talk later in this video about why this dip was happening, but it was a big dip. Um, is it a strange dip? Nah, it's not too big. Like, we are just falling back to the previous support area you can see the volume area that we are it's like just still part of the sideways movement here that we have now between 66k and around 72k we will keep moving in between this area till we are ready to really take off uh, amazing to see this but if you zoom out a little bit to the weekly we can see you know it's still that bullish cross cross over here that we saw that i showed you yesterday yes we are going to go up again and you can see in the weekly you know sell signal turning around probably turning into a buy signal very soon again and then we will move up again so the weekly is just moving like if you look here it's like oh going up down up down if you zoom out to the weekly you can see we have been going up all the time since already november 2022 over there we went up only up only up only up here we were in 2023 november a year later we were st still higher than 2022 23 higher and here again we will be higher in the next november beautiful to see how these charts play out again guys um if you want to trade manually, you can use these indicators that we have. You need to come uh, become part of the VIP group. You can find that on thebitcoinfamily.com. And if you don't want to trade manually, we also have a bot that automatically trades with you. That bot account I have public already for a very long time. Over here, you can see that I started that account with one Bitcoin. At the moment, it's uh, holding 1.14 Bitcoin. So it grew 0.14 Bitcoins and automatically I just put in one Bitcoin and it started to trade. And you can also see this here on the screen, how that bot works. For example, over here. Now, let's see. Um, here. This was the last sell signal there on the left. Here is like uh, 2000, May 2024. Then it starts buying. It starts buying more, buying more, adding more to the position, adding more, adding more, adding more, adding more. A dollar cost averages into the price. Bam, it goes up, it sells. And again, it starts dollar cost averaging. Buy, 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 buy. And then bam, it goes up, it sells with profit. And then again, it starts dollar cost averaging now. Buy, 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 buy. When we move up, it sells again and it will take profit. And that is what it automatically has been doing in the last couple of months when i started with one bitcoin and now it's 1.14 bitcoin so that's a 10 percent growth more than a 10 percent growth almost 14 percent growth now in the last couple of months this account has been public from the beginning and as you can see at the moment again uh, there's a quantity of 3596 bros with two uh, you can see the value of this uh, at, at the moment of the trade and you can see of course if we are in loss at the moment yes we are a little bit in loss in this trade because we are keep buying now this dip till we come up again and then we sell just simple how this bot works if you want to use this button go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you will find there how to use that bot now let's jump into some more interesting charts this is the first one on this chart guys you can see the bitcoin short-term holder realized price and profit loss margin now the last time that black line is the price we were at 70k the profit margin was 69 percent and the high selling pressure was there as traders may realize high profits so at that 70k price the profit margin was almost 70 percent so people were able to take profits now today we are again at that 70k price but the profit margin is only three percent so there is less selling pressure as the traders don't have much profits to realize these kind of charts are also very important to understand so the previous time around 70k selling pressure because people are able to take profits this time in 70k not that much selling pressure because there's not that many realized profits 
for those traders. Very cool charts. You can find them, for example, on a crypto quant, as you can see down below in the chart. Then we move on to the total Bitcoins held by ETFs. At the moment, 1 million Bitcoins are held by the spot ETFs. There is only going to be 21 million Bitcoins in the future, but at the moment, already 1 million Bitcoins are held by the spot ETF. So yes, we can see that there is an inflow. We can see that there is an outflow, that's the red bars. But on average, the inflow was way bigger than the outflow, and that led to now the spot ETF companies combined owning 1 million Bitcoins already. This can, of course, increase tremendously. Very interesting chart. Now, if you ask me where are we going in uh, this bull market, you know my answer between 120 and 160K, but the charts tell a little bit different story. They tell us we can go all the way up even to 260K to 400K in between that area over there. So that would mean that we would touch that trend line, this top trend line that we see again over there. And it would mean that with the RSI also, we would touch that top of the RSI over there. We are just now at that level of 70. From that level of 70, we need to go to that top trend line over there. This is the most bullish part of the Bitcoin bull market. This is the next 12 months. Every time when that happened, after the halving, we went into that green part, we had a huge Bitcoin run. After the halving, we went into that green part, we had a huge Bitcoin run. After the halving, we will go into that green part, we will have a huge Bitcoin run. Is this run really going to go to 260K or will we get stuck at 160K or even lower at 120K? It is all possible. But the thing that I want to make sure that you understand is we are now around 70K. 100K is 30K profit. 120 is for 50K profit. 160 is 90K profit. Just imagine just owning or buying one Bitcoin now and making those kinds of profits within the next 12 months. Here's a two-month chart, guys. Beautiful pattern found again uh, by someone that posted it on Twitter. And how could that look now if we take a look at the future, for example, you know, here SBF gets 25 years. Um, here we have the halving. You know, we go sideways. Maybe here the F fit 21 passes the house May 22, ETF approval. Uh, we have now the anti-CBDC bill passing. Uh, even Trump saying that he's not going to do CBDC. The Treasury buyback starts the 29th. Uh, DTC moves to T plus one May. And London ETP starts in May 22. So this is what is happening at the moment, which could lead to a huge bullish move into July, around 100,000 US dollar. Of course, there are again corrections and moving up even to 128,000 dollar. And then we get a trade fi correction all back to 80K. And then people think that was the bull market. It will be a March 2025. And it will be, ah, that was it. We had the top. And then from that moment, yes, the stable, terms, the stable coins will become a legal tender. And then from May 2025, again, we will go into that massive shot to the top of 260K, after which we will do a correction to a new bottom of around 150K or even lower, uh, below 100K. This is just a bull case that somebody shared and I found it and I thought, yeah, I want to share it just that people see. Yes, I am a kind of a little bit bearish when it comes to the bull market top. 120 to 160K is for me a beautiful top. But there's also people like this person, I can't even uh, read the name, Marty, Marty something, Marty head, Marty, now this one it, it says, hey, maybe it will look like this. Maybe we will go to 260K. Maybe we will first go to 100K this year, then collapse again, like a January, February dip to 80K next year, then build up again. And then maybe the stable coins will be a legal tender. And then bam, we will get that moonshot all the way up to uh, levels of 260K or even higher, guys. Just an example for me, please just understand that the RSI is not topping out yet. Yes, we still have upward movement potential. Is it gonna be 200K or 500K? I don't care. It's gonna be profit. And when those indicators start to tell us that we should be taking profits, I will be there making a YouTube video, guys. Please take some profits. Very clear, very simple. You need to subscribe to this channel, of course, to be notified.
I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. And yes, like I said, I've always been saying, stop crying, start buying. Every time when we dip to these levels, we should be accumulating Bitcoin. Yes, of course, the news can influence the price a little bit, but mostly it's just the A. It's just part of the bull market. We go up, we pull back, we go up, we pull back, we go sideways for some time. Again, we make a huge move, we come back, but this beautiful volatile market makes it possible for you to trade. So if you wanna be a trader, you need to be happy because of the volatility, because that makes you profits. If you are an investor, you need to zoom out and look at the bigger picture and you don't care about these volatilities because you know in the four year cycle, we will go up. And yes, we are exactly at that moment, just like this chart showed you again, that we just surpassed the halving. We are going to go in the second part of that massive bull market. But there is some news that I want to talk about in the trading tip that can influence the Bitcoin price a little bit. Let's jump into that trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, is about the news and the Bitcoin price. Are they correlated? Do they influence each other? That's the biggest question. Does the news influence the Bitcoin price? My answer is no, but also yes. <laughs> so normally the news does not influence the price. The price of Bitcoin moves because of the charts, TA. Just moves up and down, up and down, sideways, sometimes down, sometimes up again and sideways and we go up. That's just how the charts moves. And you can see this because of the TA. Mostly when the charts dip, then the news will pump out very negative news and they will say, hey, it's because of that event that Bitcoin did. Well, Bitcoin was mostly already dipping before that news. But it's a beautiful timing to create drama in the news articles and to get people to read their news, of course. And at the moment, there is one news article that could be influencing the price if it is up to the people. And that is that a lot of Mt. Gox Bitcoins started moving. In total, 5 billion worth of Mt. Gox Bitcoins moved from a couple of wallets to another wallet. So that's 75,000 Bitcoins that started moving since the collapse of Mt. Gox now into a new wallet. And in total, Mt. Gox is still holding 138,000 Bitcoins. So that's a lot of selling pressure because people believe now that Mt. Gox will send those Bitcoins back to the clients that still have the right to receive those Bitcoins because they had those Bitcoins on Mt. Gox. Then when Mt. Gox stopped existing, you know, they were locked. And now people believe that when Mt. Gox moves those Bitcoins from one wallet to the next wallet or to an unknown wallet, that from that wallet, those Bitcoins will be distributed to all those clients that still need to receive those Bitcoins. That doesn't mean that they will be dumped on the market. Because if you move Bitcoins from one wallet to another wallet, there is no exchange happening on the exchange. There is no sell or buy order. It's just moving them from one wallet to the other wallet. But still, it scares people. So yes, maybe some people are selling their Bitcoins or taking their profits to see what is happening. It can take all the way up till October before Mt. Gox has distributed all those Bitcoins to the rightless owners. So I don't know if that's going to influence the price, but 138,000 Bitcoins could be very easily bought up by the market, in my opinion. Yes, we can see a 10% or a 20% dip, but in my opinion, that it won't happen because a huge part of those Mt. Gox Bitcoin holders will not sell their Bitcoins. They will hold their Bitcoins until the next stop and sell them. And another part will be bought up by the spot ETF and another part will be bought up by the exchanges or retail investors. So in my opinion, it's not the news that moves these charts, it is TA. It is just the chart, it's just the way a Bitcoin price is moving. And sometimes the news is put out there on the moment that we see a dip, and then maybe the dip will be a little bit bigger because of the news, because it scares people. So that's a trading tip for the day. Yes, always trust the charts because they never lie, but sometimes the news can enhance a move to the top or to the bottom. At this moment, it's negative news, but let's see. Let's see, maybe there's a shitload of hodlers in that Mt. Gox group of people. The travel tip for today is, yes, maybe we could visit the United States of America again because the new, probably new President Trump just announced he wants to make America the biggest Bitcoin cryptocurrency country of the world. The leader in the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry while preserving all the self-custodial rights. 
That is what Trump is stating now. So he's not only freeing Ross Ulbricht, but he's also stating, I will make America great again when it comes to Bitcoin and crypto. And America needs to be the number one leading country in the world when it comes to the adoption, but also the developments around Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And that all while we want to preserve your rights of self-custody. And he won't allow for the central banks to create a central bank's digital currency. And he will allow all the crypto people to have the self-custody of all all those bitcoins so these are huge 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 steps for america if trump is really going to do what he's saying now of course he first needs to be elected to become president but i think a lot of people will vote for him but you you never know because last time uh, the voting system was also rigged because it's not built on the blockchain maybe this time it also will be rigged and trump again uh, will not win because they didn't use a blockchain they should be using a blockchain if they would have done the elections on the blockchain completely transparent i think last time trump would even have won and yes this time he would definitely win and i think yes the crypto community needs to vote for trump because that will free ross Ulrich, give you your self-custody on bitcoin and yes will not create a central bank's digital currency which of course we all collectively hate as the crypto industry now that was the news for today yes trump is pro bitcoin Sorry for all the noise guys and probably also for the wind, but I need to record my video here. I'm going to answer the question of one of the followers. The question was a really good question. The question was, hey Didi, we all know that the seed phrases, 12 words or 24 words, you know, the backup of your Bitcoin wallet, are being created out of a BIP39 list that consists out of 2048 words. It's not very simple to hack that combination of 12 or 24 words because it's only 2048 words. So it's a very good question because people are always afraid, is it not easy for a very smart computer or quantum computer to just test a random amount of 12 word seed phrases or 24 seed phrases and come with one of the seed phrases that should be a wallet. It is almost impossible guys. Please, this all has to do with mathematics, but I will tell you how impossible it almost is. If you want to guess a 12 word seed phrase, it consists out of a list of 2048 words. The amount of possibilities ends up at a 5 with 39 zeros. I don't even know how to pronounce that number. A 5 with 39 zeros. That is the amount of possibilities when you have a 12 word seed phrase. If you would have a 24 word seed phrase that consists out of the PIP, 39 list that has 2048 words if you have 24 randomly selected words from that list we are talking about the amount of possibilities of the number 29 with 78 zeros if you know how to pronounce that number then leave a comment down below because i would really not know how to pronounce that number 29 followed up by 78 zeros. That is the amount of possibility it is to create a seed phrase of 24 words. As a person, definitely impossible to guess that. A computer, definitely impossible to guess that. Even a quantum computer would not be able to guess that list of 12 or 24 words. Let's make it a little bit more simple. Even if you would have 1,000 computers generating 100,000 12 word seed phrases every minute it would still take 34.5 quadrillion years for a solution to be found did you hear that even if you had thousand computers generating 100,000 12 word seed phrases per minute it would still take more than 34 quadrillion years to find the right one. But then the question is, yeah, but if somebody is really rich and he has a shitload of computers, more than thousand computers, maybe then it is possible, did he? Yes, let's do it the other way around. To be able to solve or find a 12 word seed phrase within 12 months, you would need 20.7 quintillion computers guessing 100 million 12 word seed phrases per minute then maybe you would solve it within 12 months. 20.7 quintillion computers. I don't know even what number it is. I don't even know if somebody could ever pay a large amount of money to have 20.7 quintillion computers and then needing to pay all the electricity for 12 months, generating 100 million possibilities each minute, 12 months long. 
20.7 quintillion computers, then maybe they would find a 12-word seed phrase. Let's not talk about a 24-word seed phrase. Impossible. That is why we always say Bitcoin is unhackable. If you do self-storage with a 12 or 24-word seed phrase, I would prefer 24-word seed phrase, it is impossible for human beings to hack it. Maybe even impossible for the aliens when they come to hack it. Maybe they will even be, hey, that will take us 100 years. <laughs> Let's leave that behind. It's impossible. That's why you need to educate yourself on the fundamentals of Bitcoin. That is why it's very important to have a very safe storage of your seed phrase, 12 words or 24 words, somewhere that nobody can ever find it. Because if nobody can find it, there will definitely be not one human being or computer or 20.7 quintillion computers together that will find your seed phrase. The big news for the day, guys, is that Argentina, Argentina, that's why I'm wearing light blue, uh, wants to, of course, learn now from El Salvador about their Bitcoin experiences. So the two persons that have everything to say about economics in their countries, they are meeting up. And yes, El Salvador is educating the Argentinian guy now about what Bitcoin did for El Salvador and what it can do for Argentina. And Argentina is now very Bitcoin-minded because of the new president, Javier Millet. So yes, it won't take long before the next country will come and announce, hey, we are going to make Bitcoin a legal tender. I believe Argentina is very close to announcing that. I, I really believe it. It's not in the news. It's just like a gut feeling. But I think if I read the news for the last couple of months, years, Argentina came closer and closer and closer to what El Salvador already did. And I do believe that Javier Milei is a president that wants to change the economical system. He doesn't want the central banks to print any more Argentina pesos, I think it is. So he wants Bitcoin to become part of the economy. Even uh, the foreign affairs minister, Diana, I think it was Diana something, I know the last name anymore. She even already claimed like a year ago in a conference, hey, the Argentinian government is preparing a decree to legalize the use of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in Argentina for payments under certain conditions. But that's old news. That's news like from 2023. That's when that foreign affairs business already said, hey, yes, we are talking about Bitcoin and blockchain in the government. And yes, something will happen. But now Javier Villay already told a few times in the election run to become president. Hey, yes, I am very Bitcoin positive. I think it can change uh, Argentina's monetary system because we don't want any central banks printing shit load of more of uh, uh, Argentina pesos because that will only lead uh, of course to inflation so he understands economics he also wants to have Bitcoin become part of the economy and now the two heads of the financial systems in both of these countries have been meeting up and yes I know for sure that the El Salvador guy is telling Argentina just believe me yes you are the better football country you know everything about football Argentina you have your star Maradona and you have your star Messi I know we as El Salvador will listen to you when it comes to football but Mr. Mr. Argentina you need to listen to us when it comes to Bitcoin because we have now the experience of a couple of years and we are massively in profit uh, yes the tourism has increased yes everything else has increased so yes Argentina you should adopt Bitcoin as well Argentina as a legal tender and make it legal for people to use as peer-to-peer -peer cash but also as a store of value or even to do import and export for companies and I think that's going to be a massive step because Argentina is a huge 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 country with millions of people with a huge economy and yes of course they also want to fight inflation they want to do better so yes it won't take long I think before we will get a very healthy push because of the news uh, normally just because the Bitcoin is a bull market but that Argentina is going to announce hey we are going to make Bitcoin a legal tender. And then we come to the end of the video, guys, the inspirational part. The inspirational part. I'm going to keep it short but powerful because I already did a lot of talking this time. But yes, the only limits that you have are the limits that you believe in. Simple as that. When I grew up, went to school, I was limited in my beliefs. I thought earning 10,000 US dollar per month is the limit. I never thought sky is the limit. I thought becoming a professional football player, you know, that's the limit. Even in your football career, you're being told, ah, you're very good, but probably first division in the Netherlands, that's the limit. You are always educated about your limits. Well, all the limits that you believe in are your limits. If you start to believe in different limits, you will be able to achieve way more. I started to believe in unlimited limits. I didn't even care about limits anymore. 
And since I let go of all the limits that were put on me, I started to live this life with unlimited possibilities and opportunities. And I think that is very important for people to understand that you limit yourself. You believe there is a limit. You believe there is a limit to your income. You believe that there is a limit to the activities you can do every day. There is a limit to your energy. There is a limit to the amount of videos you can watch a day. There's a limit to the amount of different shoes you are able to own. There's a limit to whatever love you can receive or give to people. You always put limits to something. Stop putting limits to all of that stuff. Everything is unlimited. There is an unlimited amount of cash in this world that can be printed out of thin air an unlimited time. You need to just make sure that you attract that unlimited amount of cash towards you and not believe in a limit of a salary that the people are telling you that you can maximum earn. There's an unlimited of people that wants to give you love and that you can give love back. You don't need to surround you with a certain amount of people that you have been surrounded with because you grew up with them. Maybe these people are limiting you. Maybe these people are telling you, hey, nah, that's not possible. They are limiting your opportunities. They are limiting your possibilities. You should be focusing on an unlimited amount of possibilities. Almost the amount of the possibilities that you just saw, how, what it will take to find the 12 word or 24 word seed phrase. They start to make some noise over there, guys, so I need to stop this video now. But that's really important. There is an unlimited amount of opportunities and possibilities. The amount of possibilities and opportunities does not consist out of 2048 words. It consists out of the whole universe, about everything. We can't think of the amount of opportunities and chances there are. But we are limiting ourselves to a certain amount. That is the limit. There is no limit. That's why no limit became a brand probably. No limits. In life, there is no limits. You just need to take that first step, that first deep dive, and you will understand that there will be a window of opportunities opening for you that you would never have thought of. With that first step that we took, going all into Bitcoin, selling our house, we didn't know what would happen. We thought that we will go and live on an island and just see what happens. But an unlimited amount of possibilities and opportunities opened up Everything that happened since eight years ago, that decision, I could not have predicted that that time. All of the things that happened, even me standing here making this video now and having 75,000 YouTube subscribers almost, I couldn't have thought about that when I started to go all into Bitcoin. Everything just happened because we took that first step, that first deep dive. An unlimited amount of opportunities came to us. And that can also come to you. You just need to take that first step in changing your life into the direction that you want to change. And then an unlimited amount of doors and windows will open and you can choose which one you will walk through or come back through. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment what you think about the charts, about everything else. If it was too windy, sorry, I couldn't test it because I'm uh, filming with the Osmo DJI Pro Cat, but I have this beautiful sound system, so I hopefully it was not too windy and the sound is not too bad, guys. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again.